Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you uh, if you have already installed MySQL, uh, but the MySQL Workbench is not installed in your system, then how can we install it uh, separately? So let's continue. So to check uh, if uh, MySQL is installed in your system or not, just go to uh, this Windows symbol and then click on All Apps. And there you can scroll down and go uh, inside uh, mysql so if you scroll down here you can see mysql so uh, if these things are not installed in your system uh, then you first go to another video i have created another video for that just uh, go there and uh, please watch that and then come back and here you can see uh, mysql workbench is not installed here so we will uh, see how we can install it so let's continue for that we will uh, open any browser and then here search for mysql work bench install and, and then we will see this uh, url first url we will click uh, dev.mysql.com so here you will get the uh, installer for uh, mysql workbench and just click on download so uh, if it asks for something just uh, skip these things here you can click on no thanks just uh, start my download so click on this it will start the download and uh, uh, let it complete so once it's completed uh, we will start the process so now uh, the download is completed in my system and you can see it is showing here if uh, this thing is not shown here in your system you can just go to your uh, downloads folder and check there so once you go there just double click on this so it will uh, start the installer for your system so you can see now welcome to this wizard and it is uh, starting to install uh, mysql workbench 8.0 so just click on next uh, here it is asking for uh, the folder that you wanted to install it into so just keep it as default and then click on next and now if you want all programs featured will be installed so you can keep it as default and then click on next and again click on install so uh, now we can see uh, it is the process has been started and it will take some time so let it continue and then i will be back also uh, before installation uh, it will ask uh, uh, ask you a prompt uh, to uh, yes or no to give it permission to install so just click on yes if it asks like that and then you just click on continue now you can see the installation has been completed and it is saying to uh, uh, finish it so you can click on launch mysql workbench now also uh, so it will finish it and uh, as well as that it will launch uh, the mysql workbench for you so just click on finish and if it is not uh, launching after that you can uh, just uh, go here uh, in your uh, windows and there all apps and then uh, scroll down to the mysql and then here you can see uh, now mysql workbench is available so you can click here and open from here also now to connect uh, if you are getting this uh, local instance then fine otherwise you can click on this ok uh, plus symbol and here you can give some uh, connection name like uh, my new connection and here you can give your uh, username and password uh, whichever you entered while uh, uh, installing mysql so you can click uh, uh, give it here and then you can paste connection but uh, for that uh, before that it will ask for password so, so just click uh, enter the password and then click on okay. and you can see a successful mysql connection was made so test is success so we can click on ok and new connection has been created so uh, uh, now we can log in it just click on this and it got logged in so you can see uh, now it is fine and here we can uh, run our commands so that's all for today and thank you for watching this video thank you